Okay, it is time now for Truth or Fake, our daily fact-checking segment, which is in association with France 24's Observers. I'm joined by James Creedon. Hi, James, Tom. Uh, you've been looking at some photos that have been circulating online in Africa, and they show shipping containers uh, and weapons mm -hmm. with an apparent link to France. I say apparent. Tell us more. That's right. Now, so the two two of the photos in question, and there are quite there are several, but two that our Observers team have fact-checked, Let's take a look at them now. This one here, you can see a container. You can see several people uh, standing around uh, outside that container. And this is a second photo showing arms within boxes that were supposedly in that in said container. And several uh, Facebook posts in the last number of days allude to these arms uh, coming uh, from France. You can see here Burkina Faso. Uh, th this, so this was supposedly in Burkina Faso, a container of sophisticated weapons. This is the translation from the original French from France on their way to Kidal, which is in the east of Mali. So the idea here is that these weapons were, uh, in were intercepted, seized, uh, and that they were actually on their way to Kidal in the east of uh, Mali for use by terrorists, right? So all very intriguing. And, and this is a second uh, Facebook post. There were several. And this one says, uh, the real terrorist in Africa, we know who it is for a long time. And they're referring as well from the, those weapons coming from France. So it's really casting France in a very negative light insinuating that there's some sort of arms dealing going on uh, from France, not necessarily specifically stating the French state, but it's insinuated and that those weapons are in, or intended for terrorists or rebels in Kidal. OK, but I think uh, our audience won't be surprised to know there's a twist in all of this. Indeed. Those photos weren't uh, taken in Burkina Faso at all. They weren't. Now, they had circulated some 7,000 times, actually, since December 2019. They resurfaced again in the last few days on Facebook. Uh, our observers team actually... Uh, debunked these images uh, back in 2019. Now, what they did using reverse image search uh, tools uh, was that they identified that these uh, images actually were, were uh, from Nigeria. Uh, this is one of the images in question. Um, Nigerian Customs uh, had uh, seized uh, on two different occasions, once in March, once in May, weapons that had come from uh, Turkey, Italy, the United States. Uh, the second seizure weapons were imported from uh, China. So. In none of these cases were there, were there any links to France, and were, there were no links either for both of these images uh, to, uh, to, um, to Burkina Faso. So both the location and uh, the source, if you like, or the provenance of these weapons, uh, all of that completely uh, bogus, Tom. And it's amazing, isn't it? I mean, a reminder that even after photos have been debunked, yeah. they're not debunked permanently, are they? That's right, because it's not necessarily the same audience who see them the second time round. And if enough time has elapsed in the, in the interim, the same photos can be used for exactly the same claims. So uh, the, the, the interesting thing at the moment is France, perhaps not very well viewed by everybody in Africa in terms of the military involvement, but particularly at the moment when there are some tensions with Mali. And we know that the so-called Operation op Barkhane operation is ending next year. The Malian prime minister has said recently uh, that France is abandoning Mali because they're pulling troops out of the north of the country, uh, re-diverting them to uh, the border regions of Niger and Burkina Faso. So it's a particularly ripe moment, you could say, for people who might have a negative view of France or French involvement to buy into photos like this. People aren't going to dig into it or try to debunk it. They're going to believe it because it's going in. You could say it. Uh, these kind of photos would have a ready and enthusiastic audience. So, uh, you know, people won't really seek whether or not they're true. They'll, they'll just choose to believe it. You can verify images online uh, using various tools. This web page on the Observer is quite easy to find online. How to verify a photo online with reverse image tools is well worth uh, a look. So you can kind of check yourself to see if photos uh, are the real deal if you smell a rat. Okay. Well, thank you very much Thanks, indeed. James Creedon with today's edition of Truth or Fake. I'll see you tomorrow. Yes. Up next.